Buckle up. In this initial episode of Arrow Points, we're talking about how the government is taking another step to disarm you and keep you relying on them. Now, what does this act mean for you, Senate Bill 3589? It basically means it's restricting your right to train and prepare yourself. And why do I say it that broadly? Because that's how the bill is written. The bill is written very broadly. It says things like command structure. It says things like train in public. A lot of very broad things, like the entire bill is very broad. You can read it for yourself. Just go to congress.gov. Search Senate Bill 3589 and read it for yourself because what's contained inside is very, very disturbing. For example, the term private paramilitary organization means a group of three or more persons associating under a command structure for the purpose of functioning in public or training to function in public as a combat, combat support Law Enforcement or Security Services Unit. Now, that sounds fantastic on paper, but what does it mean? What is command structure? For those of us that have been in the military, we understand what command structure is. It's usually a command, a unit, led by a commissioned officer. It's been charged by, you know, Congress and the powers to be to operate in terms of the Constitution. But... That's so broad in here that it could be determined as me as a father going into the backyard and teaching my sons how to build a fire so that they can survive in public. Is that the case? Is that what we're talking about here? What about training in public or to function in public? Is it combat, combat support, law enforcement, or security services unit? So if you see somebody on the side of the road that needs help and you act in any way that might deem you as a law enforcement individual, you are technically, under this law, conducting private paramilitary operations. It's a big deal because the only time that they get specific in this bill is when they talk about firearms and the fact that you can only carry 10 rounds in a firearm. That's where this bill gets very specific. I encourage you to go look up Senate Bill 3589 for yourself and read it because you'll see how they defined a militia in here They are trying to take away your right to prepare yourself. As Mike Glover said it, he's the owner of Fieldcraft Survival. He teaches survival for a living. He teaches people how to be prepared for a living. If this bill passes, he'll have to shut down Fieldcraft Survival. There'll be no such thing as being prepared because every time he organizes and gets a group together to train them, he'll be breaking the law. No more training No more getting ready to survival. They want you to rely on the government for everything from food to protection to survivability. Go check it out. Remember, stay informed, stay engaged, and stay sharp.